lights, models, guest list. Hey guys, it's SoCal Socialite, and today I'm going to be interviewing the designer of Tasteless Candy Clothing, and she also has two YouTube channels, and I'll put them at the bottom of the screen. So without further ado, here's my interview with the amazing designer and creator of Tasteless Candy Clothing. I know her through um, my Facebook candy stuff because she had contacted me um, probably like a few months after Ashley and I became pretty tight and she was like, I love your stuff. She's like, I'd love to wear it on the show, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right. So I sent her some stuff and she ended up wearing it on the show. <gasps> like the first episode of, I think, last season, the last season that they had. And which which item was that? Do you remember? Um, she wore the I Always Get What I Want thing on the, on the episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very, very, very typical, <laughs> but it was cute nonetheless. Very appropriate. Okay. My favorite um, piece is that you have was the hoodie, the socialite. Obviously, I mean, you had to figure, right? Yes, that's a lot. That was actually like one of the very first pieces that I put out when I started doing paper candy. Like initially, it was um, just tank tops. I was just gonna make them for my friends and stuff. But people were like, "Oh, those are so cute!" And, like. I thought of the idea for the socialite hoodie, and that has actually been like one of my biggest sellers. It's probably actually my biggest seller for Tasteful Candy as of now. Wow. Uh, that's a big one. It's very cute. Whenever I make a design, I kind of try to make it appeal to everybody. Mm -hmm. That way, it's not just like particular people like the only design I think that I've ever made that obviously doesn't appeal to everybody is like my equality t-shirt mm -hmm. but I mean even like even with that it's I, I have so many like friends and like people on Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that who just bought it who are straight who just bought it to like support the cause you know what I mean but yeah that's like, that's like the only one that I've really done that's just kind of geared towards you know one one had one group of cause you're not calling you say no but I noticed that your um, that your clothes aren't you know they don't really break the bank as far as price range is that Ew. is that what you no way. you had that in mind when you when you started that you wanted to be more of like an affordable yet you know, tasteful, but yet your name is tasteless. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, when I started, like I said, when I started Tasteless Candy, like I didn't expect it to, I mean, this sounds horrible, but I didn't really expect it to amount to anything. I just think that it was going to go towards a career for me. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it, it's not, to me, it's, Everybody's always like when I when I do interviews and stuff like that. They're like, oh, who do you want to see wearing pieces of candy and blah 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 blah. And it's like, you know, it's not a big deal to me that like celebrities get in my clothing and like I jack up my prices to like fifty dollars a tank top. When it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want everybody to wear my stuff, so I'm not going to make my prices absolutely outrageous. Like, even when like my print advert comes out and you know like it's a you know it's more advertised well known and like start to reach a point of success like there's no way that I would ever get like ridiculous when taste candy came about I was actually really really sick one winter and mm. um and my friends, I remember a couple of my friends coming over to visit me, like, from shopping, and they're like, you know, they're all pissed, and I'm like, what's the matter? And they're like, we can't find tank tops anywhere. It's the winter in New Hampshire. Like, where are you supposed to find tank tops? Mm -hmm. And so, finally, like, finally, like, a few days later, like, I was just in bed, like, bored, and I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna, just gonna create something. Like, I'm, I might as well. I'm not doing anything else, you know? And, um... Uh, I love candy. Anybody who knows me, like, personally, knows that I'm <laughs> ridiculously obsessive. I should probably have diabetes by now. Not that I don't, but, 
Um, I, I eat way too much sugar. I'm like obsessive with it. And the tasteless part kind of just, it just seemed to like, it kind of just clicked. Like it seemed clever. The only bad thing about the name, um, there's um, a few high schools in my area that have actually banned it because they <gasps> think that tasteless candy is an indication of something sexual and it's inappropriate uh. for like school. Mm. So that's kind of, that's kind of sucky, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> My whole thing with Tasteless Candy, what I try to convey is, if you've noticed, like, you check out, like, the site and stuff like that, a lot of the, like, tank tops and stuff have, like, wise-ass, like, witty things. Like, one of them, one of my big selling things is jealousy is a sickness, get well soon, bitch. You know what I mean? And <laughs> what I try to convey to anybody um, is, you know, confidence, because I believe that not cockiness, but confidence is probably one of the most important traits that somebody can carry mm -hmm. you know like I, I don't like arrogant people there's definitely a fine line between arrogance and confidence and I, I think that you know if you are a confident person then you can make happen for yourself whatever you want to happen you can get whatever, whatever guy or girl you want you know you can get whatever job you want anything like that <laughs> right but that's kind of what I try to convey to anybody who wears tasteless candy. Like, I just want you to feel good about yourself. I want you to have fun, you know? I want, you know, because it's kind of, I mean, it's not a serious clothing line. You know, it's not <laughs> like this is like, like Calvin Klein or Dolce & Gabbana. Or, you know what I mean? It's, right. You know, it's tasteless candy. It's fun. Like, wear it. Be happy. At the moment, I'm pretty obsessed with this car. Um, yeah, I saw it on your YouTube. Super <laughs> Sunday. Oh my God! Like seriously, when they came in, um, I it was like so. It was like a really, really warm day. Like they just gotten back from New York, and it was like a super warm day out for like it being winter time. And mm -hmm. I had it on me all day because it's like that really soft, oh. like fleecy kind of material. Mm -hmm. So it's just like it's so comfortable. Like I was snuggling with it. I wasn't even like wearing it. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> with it. But I have to say that my my all time favorite is the socialite hoodie because I mean that's kind of kind of the article of clothing that put taste of candy on the map. Don't, don't, don't be Don't be 